June 13th, 2008. The wife says that journals help alleviate stress and retain memories. She always has some new way to make me feel like I have some sort of mental deficiency. She says she's going to read it for a few weeks to make sure that I actually write in it. Pretty rude if you ask me. I don't think she'd like it if I went reading through her journal. If she keeps one. But you know what they say. Happy wife, happy life. So I guess I'll just do what she says. June 15th. 2008. Well, I got a gold star for my last entry, so I suppose I'm doing something right. For once. So I guess I should write about what happened today. Well, Cheyenne, our daughter, came home today talking about her day with my mother. Mom loves taking her to the ice cream shop up the road. She also talked about her friend she met while playing in the woods. I don't like her going out there alone. She says she wants to go over to her friend's next door house tonight. Maybe I can actually have some playtime of my own with my special friend. June 16th, 2008. Slept with my wife for the first time in about two weeks. Gotta say, if anything alleviates stress, it would be a nice shag like that. Cheyenne is coming home in a few hours, so I guess I should get dressed. Wouldn't want her to be scarred or anything. Lord knows, the first time I saw my dad naked, I think I blacked out. There are just some things. There are just some things kids shouldn't see. June 20th, 2008. Today, Cheyenne came to bed with us for the first time in about five years. She said the monsters outside her window were trying to get in. She's only eight, so what are you going to do about it, right? I think I was scared of monsters till I was about nine or so, so I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. June 21st, 2008. Cheyenne hasn't been eating a lot, and she looks kind of pale. I tried talking to her, but she just says she's fine. Mom should be coming to get her soon. Maybe she can talk to her. June 22nd, 2008. Mom says she's worried about Cheyenne. Says that she isn't acting right. The wife thinks we should take her to a psychiatrist. As if we weren't out of money already. But if it'll help Cheyenne, I suppose it's okay. June 24th, 2008. Well, Cheyenne isn't doing so hot with the psychiatrist. She hardly talks, and when she does, she just talks about the monsters out her window. The psychiatrist thinks it's some kind of coping mechanism for something traumatic. The man asked if the wife and I were arguing or fighting. He obviously doesn't know what kind of a spineless man I am. June 26th, 2008. Cheyenne won't sleep in her room anymore. She says when she does, the tree man talks to her. I hope she gets over this soon. Can't really have any bedtime play when the kid's in the bed with you. July 2nd, 2008. Well, it's been a while. Cheyenne seems to be getting worse. Now she won't talk at all. She just sits there in the living room, staring out the window. She hasn't slept in her room in weeks, and she keeps waking up, screaming. I can't sleep well enough to function at work anymore, and the boss says I need to shape up or I may wind up out of a job. This whole situation is pretty messed up. July 4th, 2008. Last night at about 3 in the morning, Cheyenne woke up screaming again, pointing at our door. She wouldn't talk, just cry. I got fed up and grabbed the bat beside the bed and went into the hallway. Cheyenne's window was open and her bed sheets were strewn across the room. I looked out the window, but nothing was there. Some sick bastard must be trying to kidnap her. 
I called the cops, but they said they couldn't find anything to suggest forced entry. I swear, if I see that creep, I'll cave his skull in. July 5th, 2008. Cheyenne talked for the first time in ages today. She said the tree man doesn't like her hiding from him. I tried to get more out of her, but she just keeps talking about this tree man. She says he just wants to play. I don't like this. Maybe Cheyenne should stay with my mother for a bit after that ordeal with her room. I don't like the idea of someone breaking in with her here. July 6th, 2008. Mom took Cheyenne over to her house. Hopefully Mom can get her to talk. July 8th, 2008. Mom called last night and said that Cheyenne was acting really strange. I told her about the psychiatrist and all and got lectured about being more responsible with my actions around my child. I love my mom and all, but sometimes she can just really get on my nerves. I had a security system installed today, so hopefully I can catch anyone if they decide to break in this time. July 9th, 2008. Last night, the alarm went off at 3. When I went out to check everything, nothing was open. I don't know what's going on, but I really don't like it. July 10th, 2008. When I came downstairs this morning, there was one of Cheyenne's drawings on the floor. I don't know how it got there. I know I didn't put it there, and my wife didn't either. I'm starting to think that we may need to move. July 12th, 2008. Cheyenne came home today. She seems even worse than before. Mom said she didn't want to do anything the entire time and just sat on the couch mumbling about the tree man. I don't know what to do, and I'm starting to get a bit freaked out myself. July 13th, 2008. Last night I stayed in Cheyenne's room to wait for this tree man she talks about, but something messed up happened. I don't know how to talk about it. I was nodding off when I heard this loud, static-like sound. It was coming from Cheyenne's toy walkie-talkies. I took out the batteries. And I sat them back in her toy chest. And about 20 minutes later, I heard it again, but there was a voice this time. I couldn't hear Lee, clearly through the static. I looked out the window and saw this thing standing there. It was unnatural looking. Its long, spindly arms, like spider legs almost. I couldn't see its face. It looked almost like it didn't have one. I woke up this morning on the couch. Was it all a dream? It didn't feel like it. I think I need to lay off the curry. July 15th, 2008. Cheyenne wouldn't wake up this morning. She was breathing, but she just wouldn't wake up. We took her to the hospital and they said she was in a coma. Why is this happening to us? What have we ever done to deserve this? The doctor says that she should be fine, but I don't like this one bit, and I don't know what to do. July 16th, 2008. I got fired today. Boss said I was too unreliable. My wife said she could go and work with her dad until I can get another job. I just don't know what to do with myself. July 17th, 2008. The doctors called today. They said Cheyenne was doing okay, but they still didn't know what was wrong with her. I saw the thing again last night too. It was staring through her bedroom door, looking at me, just standing there. My wife doesn't believe me. She says I'm being overreactive, but I know what I saw. I know.
know that that wasn't a dream. July 18th, 2008. My first day home alone in years, and I don't like it. Every time I see a shadow or a small bit of movement, I freak out. I don't know what that thing is, but I don't want to see it again. I spent most of the day sitting on the couch, not knowing what to do with myself. July 20th, 2008. These past two days have been awful. I saw the thing again, and this time it moved. Oh god, it, it moved. It didn't move like anything I'd ever seen. It snapped and cracked with each step. Its face, its face. It didn't have one. Just a blank head. I think I pissed the bed when I saw it. The wife doesn't want me talking about it. Why won't she listen? July 21st, 2008. My wife left this morning. She said she'd have to work overtime because no one could cover the other shift. I'm scared of being here alone. July 22nd, 2008. Cheyenne woke up today. She seemed better. At least there was something good. I don't want her in the house, though. That thing is in there. The wife says that she needs to come home. July 23rd, 2008. I woke up screaming. I dreamt about that thing. I was trying to take Cheyenne. I cried like a baby for hours. My wife thinks I need antidepressants, but I don't need anything. I'm not crazy. I'm not imagining things. I can't be imagining things. I won't let that thing take her. July 24th, 2008. I woke up this morning and didn't see Cheyenne in bed with us. I lost my mind and ran around the house looking for her. I found her in the bathroom. She had blood coming out of her mouth, but she didn't seem hurt. She just wouldn't say a word. Not even a mumble. Nothing about the tree man. Oh my god, what is going on? July 25th, 2008. It lives in the woods behind our house. I saw it looking at me through the trees. I know it's there. I see it every time I look out the window, but no one believes me and no one understands. July 26th, 2008. It came again last night, but I didn't let it get to her. I couldn't, I wouldn't let it get to her. I hit it right in its blank face. The bat broke and I tried stabbing it with the broken edge, but it didn't bleed. I got its head, but the cut was dry and nothing but black below it, no blood. This thing isn't possible. It left us alone. My wife still doesn't believe me. It was right there. How could she not see it? She thinks I'm crazy. She thinks I'm going insane. And maybe I am. July 28th, 2008. It took her. It took her. I tried to stop it. But I couldn't. It took her away from me. I have to go into the woods. There is no other choice. I won't let that thing have my daughter. I love you, Charlotte. I'm going to get our daughter. I won't let it have her. I won't let it take her away from us. It watches us always. It sees us. He is eternal. <laughs>